one. Let us discuss this example. In this example, we have this series and we have to find its sum. Okay, so let us write the given series. Let me write, we have our series is summation n running from 1 to infinity 4 upon 4n minus 3 into 4n plus 1. Okay, so I will try to express the same series in a different way. What will I do? This is equal to summation n running from 1 to infinity. See this 4 can be expressed in this way. 4n plus 1 minus 4n minus 3 divided by I will copy the same denominator here. Okay. So you can easily see if you solve these two brackets 4n minus 4n will get cancelled to each other. 1 minus minus plus 3 1 plus 3 4 that means numerator will be 4 getting and I have written the same denominator. After that, what will I do? I will divide separately. Let us see what will happen. Summation n running from 1 to infinity. This bracket upon denominator. So that 4n plus 1, 4n plus 1 will get cancelled to each other. So 1 upon 4n minus 3 minus second bracket upon denominator. So 4n minus 3, 4n minus 3 will get cancelled and we will have 1 upon 4n plus 1. That means the same series, the given series we have expressed it in a this way. After that, we have to find its sum. So what will I do? I will consider a sequence of partial sums. Since we know that if sequence of partial sum is convergent, then series is also convergent and converges to the same point. So let us consider sequence of partial sum. Let Sn be a sequence of partial sum. Okay. So you know this, uh, how to find a val value of Sn. Sn that means sum of first n terms. Okay, so let us add. So this series we have, we are going to add a first n terms. So we'll have Sn. Put n is equal to 1. Let us see what will happen. If I put n is equal to 1 here, 1 upon 4 minus 3, 1 minus. If I put n is equal to 1 here, we will have 1 by 5 plus. Let us put n is equal to 2. If I put 2 here, 4 into 2, 8 minus 3, 5 minus. If I put 2 here, we will have 9. Let us put n is equal to 3 now. Here, 12 minus 3, 9. Minus, I am putting 3 here. One, 12 plus 1, 13. Okay, plus and so on. So, in this way, we will have, what will be the last term? Obviously, 1 upon 4n minus 3 minus 1 upon 4n plus 1. Tell me, can we cancel any terms here? Yes, definitely. This minus 1 by 5 and 1 by 5 will get cancelled to each other. Minus 1 by 9 and 1 by 9 will get cancelled to each other. In this way, all terms will get cancelled except first and last term. So that means we'll have 1 minus 1 upon 4n plus 1. So value of Sn is this one. Let us apply limit n tends to infinity on both sides. Let us see what will happen. Okay. So I'm going to do it here. So therefore, limit n tends to infinity Sn is equal to limit n tends to infinity. What we have here 1 minus 1 upon 4n plus 1. See 1 is constant. So if you apply the limit, we will have the same 1 minus. If you apply limit n tends to infinity here, we will have 1 upon infinity whose value is 0. Okay, so that's why you'll have 1 minus 0 which is 1. So therefore, sequence of partial sum Sn is convergent and converges to 1. So we know that if the sequence of partial sum is convergent, series is also convergent and converges to the same point. So therefore, let me mention, therefore, the given series, which is summation n running from 1 to infinity, 4 upon 4n minus 3, 4n plus 1 is convergent and converges to the same limit. Let me write. So n running from 1 to infinity, 4 upon 4n minus 3, 4n plus 1, okay, its value converges to the same point, which is 1. So that's why sum of given series is 1, okay. So example is over here. Make a screenshot of it, then we'll stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.